hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial so last day we have discussed about how to grab api url from your angular application basically we are starting the api handling from angular so basically we are using json placeholder link okay so here we can get simple uh, demo data so i am using this post so here we can see some dummy data so there are hundreds of data you can see there is from 0 to 99 so we are getting this result from the console so if we just check here you can see there is hundreds of record we are getting from inside our angular application so this is now in a console so how to print that data inside your angular application so to get in the console what we have did actually we create a service so this is my post data service and from the service we are calling the http client and using http client we are calling this url okay so using the http we are calling the get method and passing the url through this okay and we are getting this output from the app component dot ts that is the typescript file so if we just go to there you can see we are using this service and we are calling this service through here and i am printing this console log now in this video i am going to print this data that is the api data into here so how we can print this so if we just go to the visual studio code we can see this actually are coming from app component dot html file so just go to the app component dot html file so here we will print the result so this is my app component dot ts file and here i am getting the data and we are printing into the console log now i am going to create a property and i will pass that property to this html file so now create a property so suppose my property name is all post so write all post and there may have any kind of data into the application so write here any and this will take as a array so here you can see this is the array and basically this actually coming as a object but I am using any here so that any value we can manage okay and now we will use this post inside the constructor so write this dot variable that is the all post is the property equal to the data simply whatever we are getting we will pass this all post now if we just go to the app component html we can access this data so right now i will create a table so right here a table and before that i want to write some ac tag that is post list okay simple i am just showing this how to do it you can design as for your own but here i am taking a table that is border suppose one simple style okay and now inside the table we'll just create the table heading so right inside the tier we'll create th and we'll get three types of data that is from id title and body okay so we'll write id this is the first column and we will copy the same for title and body so right here title and body okay now we will print this so write tier and inside the tier we will write td okay so there will be three td for three table heading okay and we are getting there are hundreds of record so we need to use the loop so my property is all post okay so now create a loop so how to create a loop we need to use the ng4 directives so star ng4 let item of the variable the property name that is the all post and here we'll get 
all the value inside this item so right here item dot id so basically this id is the this id and we will print as well as title and body so just copy title and body so right here title and body okay so simple so now go to the browser and check so here you can see there is post data and all are getting okay so here actually we are using the app component dot html file so the problem is if we go to the home we can see the post list if you go to the blog we can see same post list and if you go to the course we can get same post list you will never want all the time the post list to appear in every page so what we will need to do so we don't need to write inside the app component.html file because we will create separate separate component for separate purpose suppose i am going to list these things so we are using the post list after that if we want to edit or delete or something we will add the specific component so next day we will going to create a post link here so inside the menu we'll get a post and after that when you click on that post only this time it will print okay so next video we'll going to show you how to get the service data means how to get the api data for a specific component and i also provide the link how to call a service and how to create service so it, that was discussed in our last video so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section thanks for watching this video have a good day